This is, a, in my opinion, a very commonsensical amendment. It has been ruled in order by the parliamentarian. It's germane, and it also has no monetary impact by the CBO. What this amendment seeks to do is to simply, prior to the president uh, issuing the permit approving any construction and operation of the Keystone XL pipeline, is that the Secretary of Energy, in consultation with the PHMSA, uh, certifies that, in fact, the worst case scenario of an oil spill has been addressed. This bill, um, the amendment to the bill, also includes in it a waiver provision that if, in fact, the Secretary, in consultation with the PHMSA, believes that the worst case scenario has been addressed, that that's it. It doesn't go any further than that. We are talking about an increase under H.R. 1938 from 700,000 barrels to 1,200,000 barrels per day of the crude going, as Mr. Terry has pointed out, basically transcontinentally. I believe that this simple amendment uh, gives the people the assurance that we have addressed a worst case scenario and we all know that people are always concerned about that and we are going to be transferring crude across the United States and I think that's the least that we can do and it is that's the purpose of this amendment. Thank you. Thank you very much. Let me just say uh, to both of you, you know, job creation and economic growth is a priority that uh, uh, both Democrats and Republicans alike indicate that they're interested in and uh, our uh, goal in moving this legislation is to in fact um, focus on the the, the imperative of uh, getting our country working again and I believe it will go a long way towards it. Let me just say to you Ms. Hanabusa, it's our hope that this committee will uh, make an order. We have had uh, 13 amendments submitted to us and uh, with the exception of duplicative or non-germane amendments we're hoping that we'll be able to make uh, all of the amendments in order and I believe that that will uh, include yours and uh, I have no questions other than to thank you um, both for your um, commitment to this.